In this series of videos, we have been discussing about the cell cycle and its checkpoints. All the videos are linked in the description. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the mitosis or we can say the M phase of cell cycle. It's a part of cell cycle in which replicated chromosomes are separated into two daughter cells. In simple words, the division of mother cell into two daughter cells. If we look at the phases from starting, first of all, we have the G1 phase that proceeds into S phase, that's the synthesis phase. Then we have the G2 phase. All the three phases, that is the G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase constitutes as the interphase. And from G2 phase, the cell jumps into M phase, which we are discussing here. So from interphase, the cell gets into M phase. And first phase of mitosis is the prophase, followed by metaphase. But remember, in between prophase and metaphase, we have a prometaphase, if we get into more details. Now getting back to the metaphase. From here, the cell gets into anaphase and then ultimately we have telophase, which concludes the mitotic phase of cell cycle. But if we go further, we have cytokinesis after telophase, which completes and restarts the cell cycle again. Here in this diagram, the prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase are the subphases of mitotic phase. Now let's see some major points to remember in mitosis. The first event that occurs in M phase is the chromosome condensation, which is followed by formation of mitotic spindle. Then we see the attachment of chromosomes to the spindle microtubules, which is followed by sister chromatid separation. And ultimately we have the formation of two daughter nuclei. Let's see all the events in detail in their respective phases. First we have the prophase, in which the chromosomes condense and become visible. The nuclear envelope breaks down and the spindle fibers emerge from the centromere. But one thing to remember here is that at the end of interphase, we get two identical copies of each chromosomes, referred as sister chromatids. If we take the example of humans, we have 46 number of chromosomes at the end of interphase with 92 chromatids. Remember, it is the 46 number of chromosomes but with 92 number of chromatids. Here in the diagram, we have a cell in which the chromosomes have condensed and the spindle fibers have started to emerge from the centromeres. Next is the metaphase, where we have thick coiled chromosomes, each with two sister chromatids, and mitotic spindle have completely developed, and finally the chromosomes line up at the metaphase palate. Here we see in this diagram how chromosomes are aligned at the center of cell, what we call as metaphase palate. Then we have third phase of mitosis, which is the anaphase, where first of all cohesin proteins that bind sister chromatids breaks down, with which sister chromatids are pulled towards opposite poles as shown in the diagram. Here in this diagram we can see the sister chromatids have separated and are going in the opposite direction towards the poles. And do remember, attachment of microtubules to the chromosomes is mediated by kinetochore proteins. And finally, we have the last phase, which is the telophase, where we can see the chromosomes are at poles. The mitotic spindle breaks down, nuclear annular reforms, and cytoplasm starts dividing. This all has been shown in the diagram. And this concludes the M phase. But after that, we have also cytokinesis, where the mother cell actually divides into two daughter cells, but it's not a part of M phase. So this is how the M phase proceeds and generates two daughter nuclei. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting me work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.